enough gold in the world for this. Varric, now! Meet Bianca. She'd like you to stay a while. Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatori cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Nev Gallus. He's at Dumat Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. See so you say that. But we do have Nev's location now, so... Don't get cocky. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. Time to get arrested, especially if we... Oh, crap. We're too late. The ritual started. But if we hurry, we can still stop Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Well, it's going to look a lot like this! You're safe now. Get inside and bar the doors quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! timing Nev it's so good to see you we thought the Venatori had kidnapped you they thought the same thing a lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me figured I'd play along find out who wanted to settle the score this time then the sky started raining demons so I'm back on the job appreciate it Rook this is Nev Gallus our local expert she's gonna help us find Solus Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines.
Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Everyone all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. Together, now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall.
Okay, but I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solas. But of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like the expedition where you lost that invaluable map, but saved your friends. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade, because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard. It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demeter's crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I can't do what you do. I've barely been holding it together in the short time you've been out. You don't need to do what I do. You just need to get it done. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? That first ill-fated Arlathan expedition. Not the recent one. Demons just kept coming for us. Dozens. Hundreds. But you didn't give up. You found a path out of that forest, led us from the darkest depths back to safety. <laughs> Lost that magic map. Pissed off some historians, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. There is something. Demeter's crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor. You took him back to the Veil Jumpers. Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap. And know you'll listen. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. 
But how are you feeling about it? It doesn't matter how I feel about it. We can't stop the gods without what he knows. And there you go. You don't have to love him to deal with him. He also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Nev got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. There you are. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait, that dagger. I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. No, uh, before that. Shit, it can't be. Look at it, Rook. I have. Plenty, ever since it hurt Harding. Remember that story I told you about me and Hawk, Meredith and Orsino? How the trouble started in Kirkwall? On our expedition to the Deep Roads, that's what we found. That's what my brother tried to kill us for. An idol made of red lyrium. That sang a song which drove anyone who heard it mad. Are you sure it's the same thing? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one, not even the dwarves in Orzammar, work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try? I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. Barak, I hope I'm not interrupting whatever you're doing. Take a deep breath. The gods changed all the rules. We're going in blind. The whole team is pretty sure we're going to die. And they might be right. Weird shit is happening. Of course the team's on edge. It's not a personal failing for you to be scared either. I don't know how to carry this weight, Varric. No one does. This job was always going to call for someone who could improvise. You're on this team for a reason too, you know. What I really need is a plan and less bullshit. That's what you're here for, isn't it? Better get to work. Go on. You know where to find me if you need me. Well, 
Let's not keep the gods waiting. You took a fight that wasn't yours, and made it yours. I'll make sure your sacrifice was worth it. Great job, kid. Now, what about mine? We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You need to listen! Be dead, Varric. You've helped me so much. Told me what to do when I didn't know. We wouldn't have gotten this far without you. But you did, Rook. You did all of this without me. Because you died. Yeah. Sorry about that, kid. I'm sorry, Farrakh. For what? For not saving you. Shit. Didn't you learn anything from this place? I made the choice. To talk to him. To try to reach him. Even knowing the risks. Because he was my friend. My decision, my sacrifice. And you don't get to take that from me. But every story's got an ending. This one just came a little earlier than I planned. All this time, Harding and Nev... Why didn't anyone tell me? They thought you knew. You're the only one that wasn't in on it. But they talked to you, I remember. Nope. They talked to you. Or to themselves. You just filled in the blanks. Time to finish this story. Your story. I just know the ending's going to be killer. What happens now? To you? I'll disappear. Go back to just being a memory. Right. Hey, don't get all misty-eyed on me, okay? 
I had a good run, and I don't regret a second of it. What about Solus? You talked to Mythal. You saw the memories. Solus wants to be a hero. That's who he is, deep down. But it's easier for him to play the villain, because that means he didn't fail. All the damage he's done, the people he's hurt, it becomes a choice. Remind him who he really is. He might just listen. So how do I get out of here? Listen to your team. Like you always do. This way. It's thinner here. Gotta be right. They're waiting for you. Just take it one step at a time. Goodbye, Varric. And thank you. Rook! Looking forward to seeing how it turns out. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. You already have everything you need. There! A light! We've got something. Get ready. 